snowing! <laughs> we get all excited in this part of the country because it never snows for us. snowing. Nothing to get excited about I know but hey we don't get snow this way very much. So it's definitely settling now and uh, this poor thing's got to go through its MOT today so um, yeah that could be interesting. But, uh, ooh, it's a very very snowy sky. It's, um, it's looking a lot like Christmas! <laughs> so it is that time the poor old beast has got to go for an MOT today and the missus doesn't want to take it because it's snowing! <laughs> we get all excited in this part of the country because it never snows for us. So when it does come down, although it's a, a little gathering of snow, it's nothing major, um, we quite like it. But um, anyway, let's get this thing taken for the MOT. <laughs> way to the MOT station. Um, and just a bit of advice, a lot of people panic when they're taking their car for the MOT. Don't panic, not a trick, it's a test. Um, but do yourself a favour. Um, the night before I went through this and uh, just round it, had a look for the obvious stuff. When you're taking your car for the MOT, look for the stuff that's in your control. You know, do yourself a favour, make sure all the lights work. You know, put your side lights on, check them all the way around, make sure they all work. Then put your main beam on, or your dip beam and your main beam. Um, and if you've got fog lights as well, if they're fitted, they have to work. So if you've got fog lights on the car, put those on as well. Make sure everything works. Um, a good mot -er will probably help you out on the test if you have a board go. But not all will, so we'll charge you obviously. If it's a garage, it's a service, then everybody needs to make money. Um, but a good MOT, if you've got something like a side light bulb out and it's easy enough to change for them, uh, and on ARD it's not always that easy, um, they'll probably change it, maybe they might charge it, they might not, but they will help you out, they'll work with you, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but again, make sure everything in your control works, your horn works, as I say, all your lights work, your indicators work, your hazards work. Um, also, yeah, bodywork as well. If you've got bits of bodywork hanging off or large rot holes and uh, they're a danger to the public, they're sharp, you know, they they will fail it. You know, the, the whole purpose of an MOT test is to make sure your car is roadworthy and make sure it's safe for you and the public as well. That's the whole point of an MOT. Um, there's a lot out of your control, obviously. Um, you're not going to see um, a lot of stuff underneath the car that they look at. Uh, you're not going to be able to test ball joints and things like that. But when you're driving the car, you know, you'll, you'll get a feeling for how it drives. If it's not smooth, if it's vibrating, if things are rattling, there's probably something wrong with it. Get it sorted. Your tyres as well, as you're going around the car, make sure you're just running your hand over the tyre. Make sure, you know, there's plenty of tread on there. You take a car to an MOT station with ball tyres, it's going to fail. So what's the point? Get them sorted. Again with the front tyres, make sure that you haven't got any bold areas. Um, if you want, you can use a, a 50p piece, uh, put it into the tread pattern. If you can't see the edge of the 50p piece, then you've got about enough. Okay? Uh, I think it's 1.5mm, something like that, but I can't got it. It's been a long time. Uh, but again, if you've got, uh, if you run your hand over the wheel, and the inside edge, for instance, uh, is jagged or bold. You've probably got an issue with the tracking. So you're going to need to get the tracking sorted out before the MOT. And you're probably going to need a couple of new tyres. Um, so things like that, you know, exhaust as well. If you can hear the exhaust uh, blowing, and everybody knows what the exhaust blow sounds like. You know, it's not always totally obvious, but if you've got a major exhaust leak, it's going to fail. If he's chucking out billowing, billowing black smoke or blue smoke or white smoke, it's going to fail. Okay? So just do yourself some favours. Just don't walk around the car, you know, check the obvious stuff. If the obvious stuff is broken, get it fixed. Yeah, okay? All joints, things like that, you're never going to be able to check just by looking. You've got to physically move things around. But again, 
you'll probably feel that in the car. So the MOT isn't a scary thing by any means. It's a thing where, you know, yes, it can fail, and everybody doesn't want to fail on the MOT, but it happens. My son's car at the moment um, has a bit of an issue. It's an old car, um, and it's got a little bit of rust around one of the anchor points on the seat belts, which is fair enough. You know, it's an old car, like I say. Panels will rust over time. But he's getting it sorted out. It's in the garage now, um, and it's all getting done. So it'll have a clean bill of health when it's finished. But the whole purpose is make sure your car is safe. Okay, these things are not toys. You know, you've got over a ton of hurting metal towards somebody or something when it all goes wrong. Um, there's enough bad drivers on the road without having a car that's unsafe as well. Anyway, let's get to the MOT station and hopefully this will pass with fine colours, but uh, I'll let you know on the way out. Catch you later. A few moments later. Well, it's stopped snowing. It's now sleet. Hey! Uh, so that was short lived. Um, but anyway, MOT, all done, all passed, no advisories. Car's got a clean bill of health for the next 12 months, which will make them very, very happy. Um, that's it. No, no drama. No um, follow up videos changing bits and bobs and brakes and god knows what else um, so yeah happy happy days um, as you know from the videos I do like to look after my cars and uh, I'm not one for trying to bodge things up if uh, if stuff needs replacing it needs replacing and I think the last job I did on this was the rear brakes uh, again when I did them I wasn't entirely happy with the way it either went or the actual bleed nipples Somebody before me seemed to have really butchered them and um, I could have probably tapped them out and I could have probably got them sorted and got them adequate, got them functioning. But no, new ones. Uh, to me, you don't mess about with things like that. Brakes are really important on cars. Stopping, very important. So uh, yeah, the back brakes were replaced um, and everything's good. Um, did actually watch the brake test when Dean was doing it, uh, the MOT guy, and uh, yeah, they were nice and equal, uh, handbrake worked great. The only slight comment is that he comes up a little bit too far, but I do that anyway. Um, but yeah, everything worked okay, so obviously the work I did was um, spot on, no problems. Right, so it's heading home now for a, a warm cup of coffee, because it's a bit chilly today, hence the snow, but I mentioned we've got snow. and. Um, yeah, it's a nice warm cup of coffee and uh, then I'll put my feet up for the rest of the day I guess. It's not much to do at the moment. Um, we're in tier 2 here so we can go to clubs and things but uh, my daughter's in tier 3 so we can't meet her in the club which is, oh I don't know. I'm not, not going to get into the whole tier thing and the whole what the world's doing thing. But anyway, I'm waffling. So um, thanks for joining me, the MOT was uh, spot on, thanks to Dean for sorting that out for me, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun all, catch you later.